I'm Michelle Guiley with MG Realty and Mold Realty Network. And today we're out on a construction site with Brian McKee of Midwest Homes. We're gonna be doing a rough mechanical walkthrough just to educate the public a little bit about what we do and what is unique and special about Midwest Homes. Brian? So today we're gonna to talk about what we do with our clients at the rough stage of a house. So the home has been roughed in, the windows are in, and we're gonna walk through the house and, and talk about where we place all the electrical switches, outlets, TV and telephone jacks, et cetera, in the house. Talk about some of the exterior items as far as accent lighting, and then also hose bibs on the outside of the house where clients may want those placed their own. So now we're gonna take a tour and walk through the house and show you some of those features as we normally would point out with our clients. Our electrical walkthroughs, we place TV and telephone locations and data jacks in the home. Here you can see a location where we have a rough in and an exterior wall where we have panning behind the rough in box where the power, the CAT6 wiring and the coax wiring will be located to the television location. This is for a wall mount television on a wall about five feet off the ground. Um, and it is wired for both data and for television so that if you have a smart TV, it has a wired connection right to the television versus using Wi-Fi. Gives you that higher speed access. This location also has a high-low location so that if a person wants to use this bedroom as a office, for instance, they can plug in the desktop computer to a spot lower on the wall. So as we continue our walkthrough in the house, we, here in the kitchen, we talk about where we're gonna have recessed lights, kind of laying them out with the cabinetry that's gonna be in the kitchen. We also talk about pendant lights over a kitchen island, how many we're gonna have, whether it's two, three, four. And then we also talk to the clients uh, about the power and the backsplash of the kitchen, um, how much power we're gonna have in either side of a cooktop, for instance, within two feet of the cooktop and then four feet of each other, so they have plenty of power for any plug-in appliances that they might wanna have on a countertop. We also talk about ventilation at this stage of the house um, and show them that the, all the kitchen hood exhaust goes to the exterior as well as the bath fans, all exhaust to the outside of, of the home. Some builders still use a charcoal filter in their bath fans or kitchen exhaust and that just recycles the air inside the house. We want to make sure that all of our ventilation goes to the exterior of the home. So about six years ago, seven years ago, uh, we decided to make all of our homes have a connectivity package with them. Your car nowadays has the ability to connect to your phone, so why shouldn't your house? So in all of our homes, we can have a connectivity package uh, that we use a Control 4 home automation system with our homes. We have the wired network that I've talked about before. And part of that package is a wireless access point that's wired right into the home uh, right here above me. So one of the additional things that we talk about when we're doing our electrical mechanical walkthrough is the recessed lighting on the exterior of the house. Uh, we offer recessed lighting here on the front porch and on the corners of the garage as well as one on the far corner of the house just to add some design element to the lighting for evening and nighttime. Some people desire putting coach lights on the front of their garage to have more of a decorative look versus the clean simple look of a recessed light. So one of the additional things that we do with our electrical walkthrough here at Midwest Homes is we talk about weatherproof outlets on the outside of the house near every entry. Um, and one of the features with that is we could add a holiday package to that where we can have a switch inside the house that can control half the outlets. So if clients want to have holiday lighting, they have that option, they have the control inside. One of the additional parts that we can add to that control is with the Control 4 home automation system that we include with all our homes, clients can upgrade that switch to a Control 4 switch which allows them to have day light uh, setback times on that so it can automatically turn on when the sun sets and run for four hours or run all night long. Uh, so it's one of the nice features with all of our homes that it's an upgradable system. And the other thing that we talk about in all of our walkthroughs is where we're going to place the hose bibs on the exterior of the house. So one of the last things I wanted to point out here during our electrical mechanical walkthrough at Midwest Homes is the fact that we use Nest Ring Doorbell System and also the Nest Thermostats inside the home. That allows the, the camera system as part of that Ring Doorbell to look at the front porch. I love that. So while I'm at the office, I can look at my phone, turn on the lights, turn on the music, See who's leaving packages, make sure they're there for when I come home. Mm -hmm. How awesome. Yeah. You gotta love technology. Well, thank you for joining us today. We've had a lot of fun doing these videos. We hope that they've helped you. You can also go to our website. That is gonna give you a lot more information, midwesthomesinc.com. And with that, we'll say adieu. All right. Bye.